what's up youtube welcome back to another video this is just a quick review i know you saw my previous video, video about the w's on the easy day and this is the first pair that came in the 700 v3 the azrif colorway and let's get right into it now when i initially saw the package i like i saw um, like you see in the video i will give you some closer shots um this is how the package came at first i was a bit worried or maybe the box the actual shoe box might be destroyed just because you know this pair is actually a pair i'm looking to flip so initially seeing this i was a bit hesitant not really sure what happened to the actual shoe box but thankfully nothing bad really happened okay so we are right into the unboxing enough with the actual shipping box um like i did say that really 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 scared me at first just because you know how some of these shipping boxes can lead to the actual shoe box being broken or damaged and I, like i said this is not a personal pair obviously a size 4 would not be for me so at the moment i was a bit hesitant but you know i said screw it let's just get this unboxing over with because i really wanted to see the actual shoe box and we'll get right into it let me just cut it and get it right open uh, my actual uh, shipping label is on the other side that's the reason why we're gonna you know unbox it on the other side so let's just keep that in mind let me just cut this side real quick and there it is like i said it is upside down because the shipping label is on the other side keep that in mind standard 700 box adidas logo on the back of the box nothing too crazy um just a quick note this is my first ever pair of 700s in hand uh, as you can see the big number 700 on him nothing too crazy we'll get right into it. i'll show you a show detail of the actual sneaker label easy 700 size 4 like i said nothing too crazy standard easy label um like i just said this is my first ever 700 ever in hand 700 uh v1 v2 or v3 first time in my hand so like I said in my previous video, if you were able to cop something, comment down below. I know two people did in the previous video and one of them um, got the Black Statics uh, 350v2, which was a you know huge surprise to me just because, like I said, there was a rumor about there being 10 pairs of each shoe coming out. So for him to him or her cop a pair like that, really, really big W in my opinion. I was looking forward to any 350v2s in my opinion, especially the breads but you know unfortunately was unable to cop any of them but like i said in the previous video early access you know thank god for that let's get right into the sneaker you see there's an extra lace pocket there and you know standard there it is 700 v3 i believe if i'm not mistaken this is the first colorway um like i said earlier in this video this is my first uh v3 or v2 or v1 at period at all to have in hand so this is you know a genuine review in my opinion now my first impression is the sneaker uh nothing too crazy but just take with a grain of salt just because this is a size four and honestly i had no idea um all the yeezys ran in men's sizes regardless of how small how big the size is i remember on the app it was you know size i think it was size four all the way to uh, i think 17 that were included in the men's section and if you go on StockX, they also have uh the size four under the men's section which to me is crazy but you know that's a compliment on part of him just because he's getting 217 regardless if you're a size four or size 17. so to me that was a big shocker um yeah now when it comes to the material on the actual sneaker um like i said earlier they they, they come with actual laces as you can see black laces um but like i was saying when it comes to the material nothing too crazy um i think it's mesh on below the the upper so like i said nothing too crazy and this pair did come with a bit of glue leakage which is a bummer in my opinion just because like i said earlier in the video this pair i am trying to flip so of course when it comes to things like that like you know uh glue leakage and all that that will affect the price especially if i'm trying to sell through apps but this product like is going to have to be you know to another seller but like, overall nothing too crazy nothing you know amazed me in my opinion is the reason why i don't have any z700 v3 but you know if you do can't blame you it is one of those hyped up shoes and honestly they don't look too bad in my opinion so if this is your first time seeing a you know 700 v3 like myself um let me know what you think honestly I, as i show you the tag uh size four of course nothing too crazy 
uh, like I said previously nothing too crazy about the sneaker um, I'm sure there are some subtle differences with the size 4 and obviously let's say my size 10 um, but like I said I don't have a size 10 in these don't have any other size in this but I do have a, another size 4 in the dark glow 700 v3 is coming really soon I will also do a review and unboxing with that but overall nothing too crazy like I said um, if you do have a couple pairs of these I don't blame you um, my opinion they actually look better in smaller sizes just because they usually a bulkier sneaker and there you go as I'm showing the glue leakage you can tell that's you know too much glue uh, I'm not sure if this pair was a return pair or something but in my opinion that's gonna be tough to sell when it comes to the apps and all of that now I'll give you a closer look at the sneaker as I zoom in in the video footage you can see the entirety of the sneaker on the left side of course uh, like I said nothing too crazy the blue really pops in my opinion um, now I see all the hype behind the sneaker see the outsole we have like this it looks like a um we see on Jordan like icy blue bottoms we have to wear them it looks like that color yellow in my opinion as I'm you know analyzing the sneaker I do see the glue uh, leakers there like I showed in the previous clip, nothing too crazy. Like I said, look at that blue mesh. Really, really intriguing in my opinion. They do look better in a smaller feel, like I said. Um, if you do have a pair, comment down below. Do you pay retail, resale, or did you look, um, did you get lucky and cop on Easy Day? Let me know down below. And like always, I'll give you some better shots just so you can see anything I missed. Now in the pictures you can see, I'll show you the Easy Label again. Um, just so you can see, you know, the whole presentation of the shoe. Nothing too crazy, like I said. That blue really pops, in my opinion. Um, and in this picture, you can see the glue a bit more than others, but like I said, that would make it tough to sell. The outsole looks pretty good, in my opinion. It's something different, stands out from the shoe. The all blue upper, you got that tag in the inner side. Um, the foam does look comfortable, I will say that. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.